Flying a helicopter requires fantastic hand-eye coordination, mingled in with an incredible amount of physical dexterity, all in concert with persistent mental gymnastics. We should also add in extraordinary situational awareness and perhaps a bit of intuition to round out the qualifications necessary to be a great helicopter pilot. It's not easy, but that's why we love it. So what practical recommendations would be useful to execute a successful auto rotation? First, know your aircraft. You should be capable of quickly adopting the correct attitude to initially obtain the approximate airspeed for the auto rotation. The RFM will provide the recommended airspeed, usually very close to VY, but you should know the pitch attitude necessary to obtain and maintain that speed. But keep in mind that VY changes with altitude. For example, in the H125, we specify that VY decreases by one knot per every thousand foot gain in altitude. So as example, if you are shooting an auto rotation in Miami, Florida, at sea level, the recommended speed for an H125 would be 65 knots. But if you were in Denver, Colorado, a mile high, it would be 60 knots. Second, rotor RPM is fundamental and absolutely critical. You must maintain rotor RPM within the specified range. And while you may choose to allow the RPM to run near the high end of the range or choose to drag it down into the lower range, you must always maintain it within the limitations. Learn to manage your RPM with your ears and confirm it with your eyes. Third, fly as high as your work and conditions will allow. Altitude is your friend. Performing a successful auto rotation from 2,000 feet AGL is much different than performing one from 200 feet. Having time to select and decide the best available landing location is much better than being forced to accept what is ever presently beneath you. And finally, train as often as possible. And while there is no better way to train the landing portion of the auto rotation than actually flying the helicopter, simulators are an excellent way to practice the other aspects, timely recognition of the emergency, and proper entry into the auto rotation are key to a successful outcome. I've observed that most pilots are well trained in maintaining a stable glide and in performing the actual touchdown. However, their initial recognition of the emergency and subsequent entry skills may not be as well developed. Let's focus our training efforts on the areas which may need improvement and use all the tools available. If you do not have access to a simulator, then be certain to practice the recognition and glide segments in the helicopter as often as necessary but always within gliding distance from a suitable landing area. Remember, a good entry is critical and sets the stage for a good touchdown. Practice may not make perfect, but it certainly improves the odds.